Hey guys, and welcome back for another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute crochet stocking. This is a mini stocking which would be perfect for a small gift or even an ornament on a tree. So for this tutorial you will need a 5mm hook, a darning needle, and two different color yarns. I'm going to be using this green from Red Heart and just a white. So it's just regular worsted weight yarn and we're going to start off by making a magic circle. And if you don't know how to make a magic circle then you can follow along very closely. But I do have a video tutorial dedicated just for the magic circle if you want to check that out I can link that. Um, but once you have your magic circle you're going to put six single crochets into the center of that circle. I do have the written pattern over at my blog which is charmedbyashley.com. You can find that in the information icon as well as link below so if you'd like to follow along with those you can do that as well. So I'm just going to do those six single crochets into the center of my magic circle. So once you have those, then we're going to pull the thread and cinch up the magic circle. That's what's so great about this. It, it can be a little tricky doing it the other way, which would be to chain three and then make a little tiny circle and then try to get six stitches inside that little circle. So we're just going to pull the yarn and then you'll pull the tail and then it will just make a perfect little circle just like this. Um, if you've never done a magic circle before, I must warn you that it does take a little bit of practice, so don't expect that it's gonna look perfect right off the bat. It took me m several times to, uh, to actually get the hang of it. And then I'm going to do a slip stitch into the first stitch and then it will create my perfect little circle. And then from here, we're going to do two single crochets into each stitch. So you start it up with six and then you will end up with 12. So I'm just going to keep the tutorial on real time just because the toe of the stocking is the hardest part. So I want you guys to get that. That's the most important part. Um, so I'm going to keep it at real time just so you guys can be with me for every step of the way, especially if you are, you know, making this with me. And then when you get to the end of the row, you're going to do a slip stitch into the first stitch and then that will complete the round. And here's my slip stitch and so that will be 12 single crochets. So for the next round, we are going to chain one and then we are going to do two single crochets into the first stitch and then one single crochet into the next two stitches. So we're going to do two in this one and then in the next stitch one and then in the next stitch one. And then we'll repeat that all the way around. So the next one is going to be two, and then one, one. And then when you get to all the way around, again, you're going to do a slip stitch into that first stitch, or it's like the chain one space, and then that will be the third round. 
So now we're going to work on the fourth round. And the fourth round, again, is another increase round. And this one will be two stitches in the first stitch and then four, no, and then one stitch in the next four. So one, two, three, four, and then we're gonna do it again, going two in the next, and then one in the next four stitches, all the way around. And then that will be our last increase round. And then we're going to start to work on the, um, basically, I guess the bottom of the stocking. So the part between the toe and the heel. And then that will just be a single crochet into every stitch for three rounds. Okay, so now we're gonna finish this round and then we can start working on our rows five to eight. And we will always do a chain one in the beginning and then your single crochets into every stitch and then slip stitch into that chain one space. And do that for all three of the rows. If you want to have a longer foot, you can of course increase the amount of rounds here as well as the height of the stocking. So you can customize it if you want to put a longer item in it. It's totally up to you. I just thought it looked really cute and chubby and short and I just liked it. <laughs> so I'm just going to continue along doing my three rounds and then we can start to work on the heel. The heel I am using a different color and when we get there we're not going to fasten off the first color. So I'm not going to be fastening off the green, I'm going to leave it on. I'm just going to attach the white and I'm going to slip it in to the green loop and then I will just start to crochet from here. And then I got a little visitor. <laughs> so I just got home from vacation and my cat has been stuck to me because she just missed me so much. So of course, <laughs> she had to find a spot on my small table. But any table is dwarfed because she is 17 pounds, so. Okay, so. You have to pay attention to this part because it's going to be multiple stitches. So the first stitch is going to be a single crochet and then I'm going to do a half double crochet and then I'm going to do four double crochets in the next four stitches. So one double crochet into each. So that's one double crochet, this is two, and then three, and then four, and then we're going to do a half double crochet into the next, and then a single crochet. This is how it should look. See how it sort of kind of looks like a little bridge. And then we're going to do a slip stitch into the next. And then we're going to chain one and then we're going to turn our work. So just like we did, we're going to go back over those stitches and we're going to do a single crochet on the single crochet, a half double crochet on the half double crochet. And then we're gonna double crochet two together. So we're gonna pull up a loop, go into the double crochet, pull up another loop, and then we will yarn over, go through the next double crochet, pull up a loop, and you're gonna have five loops on your hook, 
and then you'll take your yarn through all five and that's going to make it one again just like that and we'll do it again with the next two double crochets and then we're going to do a half double crochet in the next a single crochet into the next and then we will slip stitch into the next and we're kind of making like a wedge we're just kind of sticking a wedge so that when we continue on with the green then it will kind of force it to turn to make it look like a stocking if that makes sense so when you fold it you will see the little heel of it how cute is that it's so cute and now we're going to fasten off the white and then we will continue on with the green. And because I didn't want to have any loose ends, I just left it attached still. And I'll pull up a loop and I will continue on with doing chain one and then one single crochet in each stitch. And then we're going to work on the white and then back down to the green. And I'm going to do this for six rows um, or rounds. You can choose to make it longer if you like, but remember we will have the little cuff at the top, so account for that. Um, so I'm just going to quickly do that and I, you can meet me back when you are done the ankle portion of your stocking. So here is my rounds all finished and then I'm going to fasten off my green so I'll snip that and then I will start to work on the cuff and I'm going to reattach the white and I'm going to be doing a chain I should be doing a chain two but I'm not going to here but I should be and we're going to do a half double crochet yarn over through the loop yarn over and then you'll have three loops on your hook and then pull through the three loops um, we're going to do one in each stitch and I'm going to do two rounds of the half double crochet so I hope you're enjoying this project so far I hope it's working out for you if you are following along and I would love to see them if you make them so you know of course follow me on my social media my Instagram and our Facebook group is down below we have a little community growing so that's facebook.com slash charmed by Ashley and instagram.com slash charmed by Ashley so don't forget the pattern is written over at the blog as well and the blog post will be linked below as well as the information icon once we are finished that, you can decide if you want to make it into an ornament or even a cute little um, like garland. You know, you could have like six or eight of them just on a string and then hang them from your mantle. So cute. And yeah. I'm just going to finish up the last round. I decided to just make them into little ornaments so I'm just going to put a little string on the back of it above the heel on the cuff and then you know if there's like little gift cards or something like that you want to stick in it and you can just have that hanging on the tree that would be really cute so I'm fastening off the white and then I'll just create my little loop on the back So because of where I left off with my yarn, I want to bring the yarn over to the spot where I want to create the loop. Um, and so I'm just going to use the darning needle to move it and then I will just tie it in a knot right 
near the top of the stocking. And then I'll just fasten in that end and it will be done. And how adorable are these? It almost makes me want to put them on like a dog or something. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more future tutorials. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.